Hi, I'm Will, and I'm going to show you two different ways to make cabbage today. One that is waist slimming, and the other one that is just delicious. Here on the Gizzard Guide to Better Living. You don't need a lot of ingredients to prepare these two meals. One is with meat and one is without. You can make both of them with just a head of cabbage. So I'm gonna cut this in two and prepare it for, I'm gonna fry one side and I'm going to soup another side. So the side that I'm going to soup are gonna be bigger uh, chunks and the side that I'm going to fry are gonna be thinner and slimmer. Okay, so let me prepare these, um, uh, vegetables before we start doing anything. I have tomatoes, I have an onion, I have a can of stewed tomatoes, and I have scallions, and a little bit of celery, and some, I always buy bag, my peppers. So I'm going to prepare all that and we'll come back and start cooking. I didn't have to prep the peppers because the store did it for me. I have chunks of celery, onions, and cabbage in this bowl for the soup and I have thinly sliced cabbage and the vegetables are cut very thin and also the sausage that I am preparing to use. First we're going to prepare the base with four cups of chicken broth. I'm going to season the chicken broth with one heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. one teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic salt, a teaspoon of seasoned salt, and a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. A teaspoon of sea salt. And I'm gonna to top all that off with a teaspoon to the half a teaspoon of parsley. I'm gonna bring all of these ingredients to a bowl before I add my cabbage and other vegetables. While waiting for the pot to boil, I'm gonna saute my sausage in a little bit of vegetable oil. The first vegetable I'm going to add is the tricolor peppers because it's going to bring flavor to my meat. Cook this till soft. I'm going to add the same thing I add to the soup. I am going to add a heaping scoop of garlic, minced garlic. I'm going to eyeball this, I'm not going to measure it. So I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of seasoned salt, some black pepper, some sea salt crushed pepper crushed red pepper a 
and a little bit of parsley. Now that the vegetables are soft and the meat is seasoned, we can start adding our other vegetables. First, we're going to cover it all with the cabbage. And the cabbage is going to wilt down. I don't like mushy cabbage, so I'm going to only cook it to where it's tender. It tells it to take long for it to wilt down. So you have to watch it and stir it. It's basically a stir fry, just don't have a wok. While the fried cabbage is cooking, the base for the soup has started to boil. We're going to add our vegetables, our celery, our cabbage, and our onion chunks. Break them up just a little bit so it won't be too chunky. This is going to bake down, into, this is going to boil down into a smaller size. Back to our uh, fried cabbage, start moving it around and integrating the flavors. It start producing its own uh, juices, so it will keep the pan from sticking, but it always have a little bit of brownness in the bottom, and you want to get that up and add it into the stir fry. The cabbage is about halfway done, so now I'm going to add the thinly sliced onions, two types of tomatoes, and some scallions. We don't want to overcook these. We don't want it, this to be mushy. We want this to be um, al dente. The fried cabbage is basically done, but I like to top it off with two tablespoons of chili garlic sauce. At this point, I turn off the heat and I just let it simmer and marinate into the cabbage. The fried cabbage is done way before the stewed cabbage is. The stewed cabbage always takes a little longer. Fried cabbage, you can cook this up in about 20 minutes after, you know, without the prep time. So we're gonna plate this up. I like for my vegetables to still have some crunch to them. I don't like it to be a soggy mess you can either eat this with some uh, rice or some type of carb that you would like to eat it with and I have to have a little hot sauce I'm a fire eater have a taste Mmm, A1. So we'll be back to prep some more of the stew as soon as it, the cabbage starts to wilt a little. Mmm. Soon as the cabbage starts to be a little translucent, I add my stewed tomatoes and my tri-colored bell peppers and bring it back to a boil. Once the soup get back up to a boil again, I cut off the heat and let it sit for a while. And this is what the end results will look like. Some people use this soup for quick weight loss. You can eat it three times a day or more for 10 to 7 days and it will help you lose a couple of uh, dress sizes if you're a woman and a man it will flatten your stomach. But I do not suggest that you use it for more than 7 to 10 days. I believe that both of these dishes can be pretty healthy for you. I did not use 
a lot of oil or a lot of meat in the stir fry part uh, with the cabbage. I use uh, very minimal oil and very little meat. I use this one sausage. Um, as I said before, that the soup can be used and has been used in the past as a quick weight loss dieting thing. And I don't do quick weight loss dieting things because I believe that you should have a lifestyle that allows you to lose weight and keep it off. And, but if you want to use it for a short term dieting thing, a lot of people use it like for the prom and women want to lose a couple of dress sizes for an event or guys back in the day used to use it if they were going to the beach and they want a flat stomach. But I believe, as always, I have said, dieting without exercise don't work and exercise without diet doesn't work. So you need to do both. And they'll work together and they'll help you to maintain a healthy lifestyle. As always, thank you for watching these videos. I really appreciate you.